Welcome to Spaghetti Junction, famously known as the UK's largest, most chaotic intersection. And beneath the busy highway above our heads is a canal. There's also two rivers down here, and I'm here today to work out what lives in them. Oh, fish! Yeah! Fish oh, on! Fish on! Oh, yeah! This needs to stop right now. Oh, fish on! That's me retiring. Oh, fish! Yeah! Right, Carl. Caught under this bridge before, mate. You caught fish from here? Yep. That's cool. So I think this is as good a spot as any. I've got a swim up for Carl. Oh, up. right. Carl hasn't got a law yet. Sean, bestow upon Carl the snag bro fly. <laughs> Arise, Sir Kyle. Kyle, Carl. <laughs> We're going to guarantee you a pike. No, don't Whoa, do that. Did you just Sean, say that what you did? Sean, Sean's a level four angling coach and I'm a level 10. So <laughs> yeah. between us, we've got 14 well, levels. Up. You know what I mean? I'm a master. Well, we've just been promised pike. You have? You've just promised Carl a pike? Which normally means we're going to blank. But we'll see how it goes. It does look good, doesn't it? It's like a tantalizing little wiggly thing. Without wanting to give the city a bad name, lurking under the bridges of Birmingham isn't something I'd want to do alone. So I'd enlisted the help of Sean and Tom, also known as Snagbro here on YouTube, to help me out with my quest for urban pike. Well, there's a big, huge tunnel that's pretty pitch black. There has been pike under there as so well. So we, we, we go in the tunnel? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's done a carl. Yeah. That's, that's what that is now. Carl, if you could take any um, shots of me snagging out of the video because oh, yes. I don't want it to damage my reputation. Damage right? your reputation? Is that what you just said? The next cast could be the one. It could also not be the one. And we could make another 10,000 without a fish. Well, I guess that's the excitement of lure fishing. So here we are, underneath the motorway. For some people, fishing is all about relaxation, going somewhere peaceful and switching off for a few hours. And for others, it's this place. And if we can catch a fish from underneath the biggest, most busiest road in this country, I'll be pretty happy. Carl's gonna go on a walk. Carl's going on a walk about. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> That's your thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of leaves and things to dodge at the moment underneath the spot. Quite a lot of snags as well. Where are you, Pike? Do, do Pike even eat lords? Do fish even exist? Are there any fish in Birmingham? Some at the Sea Life Centre. We go there. We go there, yeah. But given the surroundings, given the weather, and given the lack of bites, you can understand why I'm Struggling a little bit. Is this the dark tunnel? It's not that dark. Oh, it is when you're under there, Carl. Come on, Carl. Oh, it's eerie under here. Come on, I just want to catch a fish now and get out of here. Mate, when a truck goes over, you feel the ground shake. Like when a big lorry or something passes by, the ground really moves. Yeah! Fish oh, on, fish. fish on. Go on, Sean. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Sean coming in with the Whoa. pike. I'll net it, I'll net it, I'll net it, I'll net it. Yes! 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 yes. Hey, well done, bro. I can't believe I told it. you there was one behind there, didn't oh. I? So, so we, have a, we have a situation and we worked very, very hard today to capture an urban pike from underneath Spaghetti Junction. And for some reason, this memory card has done things. Half the footage from today is just broken. So here's what we do have. Thankfully, Tom had been recording on his camera, and so I'm able to show you a few quite wobbly uh, shots of Sean's pike. But I was still desperate for a catch of my own, so we slipped it safely back and moved on. Now, with no footage to prove otherwise, I could tell you that moments like this oh! yes! resulted in a monster 20-pound pike, or the UK's first 50-pound canal carp. But the truth is, well... No, he oh. let go. He let go. Yeah, we had a few of those. 
Sean, Tom and I walked for miles, casting literally thousands of times. I caught a perch. Oh, yeah. I got told off for catching a perch. We do it. This needs to stop right now. We'll do a deal. I'll put away the silly little hook. Yeah. And the worm. If. If you take me to somewhere we'll actually catch a real fish, a big pike. Yeah. Okay. And with that, we began the long walk back to the van, each still with a rod in hand, covering the same ground as before, but with our hearts now set solely on something warm for lunch, as the day was starting to creep up on us. Ooh! What goodies do we have this time? A child's jacket. Good one, Could be Carl. a fish in there, not a caught fish. Not so sure about this urban fishing. Maybe it's not for me. Do you see the shape of that? How yeah. it sort of goes round and over. And that is actually the same design as the spaghetti junction itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see how it loops it's back? A, it's a huge coincidence. It's really. a one-way system. Here you go. Ooh, that's a miracle. I thought I was going to take me an hour to untangle. You know when your highlight of the day is getting untangled, that it's not been a great day's fishing. What about the perch? Oh, yeah. That Are was tight. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Little pit stop, get some food. Did you get me the coffee? Thank you. I don't know how much you love coffee. <laughs> you drink that for pleasure? Yeah. Let's see if Carl can make the shot. We'll just cut that bit out. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Go, go, go. oh, this is amazing. This is nice. Um, this is the canal. We're in Birmingham. We're pipe fishing and we're wet. And it's good weather for ducks. Snag. Snag. Oh, look, a rainbow. Tom and Sean have brought me to a new spot. Once again, we're underneath a bridge which is handy because the, the rain is pretty heavy at the moment. And we're gonna be trying to catch pike still. I'm sticking with the, the jig fly. I'm keeping the faith. And uh, yeah, the guys have said that they have caught really good pike from this bridge and the others along this stretch. So. Yeah, really good pike. I got the runner up in the Canal and River Trust Catch of the Month contest. Why are you chatting about that? 2016, <laughs> what are you? You don't even know. He wasn't even there. Um, was that yeah. also a kids event? No, 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 that was that anyone can join. It's kind of like the Drennan Cup, but better. <laughs> I love fishing with Tom and Sean because what they lack in, you know, fish catching ability, they make up for in, you know, a good time. It was the runner up of the 2016 <laughs> Canal and Rip. Oh my God, what is going on there? Carl's just clapped. <laughs> Look at that. Magamist. Give me, uh, give me, give me oh. some advice. <laughs> On the, oh, that was a good one. That was good. That was better. I wanted that to happen. Okay, now let's go for the on the on the drop. <laughs> this used to be so hot. Follows all the time. In. And then oh, snag, You can walk over the bridge. Oh, can you? Yeah. We'll try it. It's the issue with taking these amateurs fishing because they're just always getting snagged all the time. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you. But what is that? Oh, it's a tire. Decent. Oh, yeah. You got the inner. Oh, you got the inner. Oh, you know what? oh yeah. I even think for today, you become the first honorary member of Snag Bro because of that tire. Because I got snagged. Yeah. 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 You're in the club now. Great. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was, you know. Good one. That's decent, that. Um, well. So what you want to do is you want to put one hand here yeah. and then the other hand there, yeah. Oh, <laughs> cover up its eye. Oh no, the thumbs up was good for, for my Instagram followers, yeah. Got a special swim for you. So it's actually behind a locked gate. So this secret spot that you talk of. Yeah. This special spot. Yeah. Uh, how much more special is it than the last three special spots that you This took? one is the most special. Okay. Out of all the spots. Bring it on. So, yeah. You will catch. I will. I've I. guaranteed you. Yeah. You stop saying that. <laughs> no. 
now is not the time. Oh, well, it came out. I thought I'd lost my fly. I haven't bought any spares here. The fish is just a bonus at the end of the day, isn't it? If you go home and you haven't got snagged, then brilliant. There was a few small fish moving around here just now. When is this bike gonna come? I'm losing hope. Oh, fish on! Yes! You're joking. Oh! How did my law still end up in the net? <laughs> well, I nearly had one. So close. I think it was Sean's fault because of the netting. I think Sean did a shoddy job of that netting. He did, didn't he? Because like, the fish was there. It was All ready. All he needed to do was scoop it. Yeah. Seeing that last fish though, they can come out of nowhere. You can be thinking, what am I doing? I'm wasting my time. And then wallop, there's a pike on the end. So I've just got to keep focused and keep casting. Come on, Carl. <laughs> Don't panic. What have I got that can just pull it out of the bag and it's last? I've got something in here that might do the trick. Sean's got a tent, I think. Oh yeah, PB tent, bro. How about this for a double cup? Bite number one is a sleeping bag, and bite, bite number, two. number two is a one-man tent. <gasps> That's a good winter coat, that is. That is all right, isn't it? That's a good PB tent, Sean. That's an outstanding tent, if you don't say so myself. Is this one of those new Nash ones? Yeah, Titan 4, that is. The, the pop-up. Oh. oh, it's full of water. Great. Cool. You, you guys are bagging up today. Well done, Sean. Thanks, mate. When you've been pulling snags out of these canals for five years, when you get a tent, you're genuinely chuffed. Right there, let me, let me sort this out. Oh, that's great, mate. It's dry in here, lads. How many wraps you fishing? <laughs> Eight, Two and a half. 18. 18. 18. Oh, oh, sound. When we set out this morning with our goals and our targets, I never anticipated witnessing a tent being landed. <laughs> so, you know, this session has just gone from here to here. Yeah, got him. Oh. No way. Well done, Sean. Do you want me to net it yes, for you, Yes, please. Bro? Whilst my experience of fishing Birmingham's canals had been somewhat soul destroying, Sean, on the other hand, was smashing it with another pike gracing his net. Get him in there. Yes, Thomas, good netting. These urban locations have proven to be even tougher than expected. Have you got any fish in there? Oh. <laughs> Simply striking into something that's living is a cause for celebration. I was really pleased for Sean, genuinely, but I'd be lying if I said the pressure of not catching one myself wasn't getting to me. Hi. Well done, mate. That's me retiring. Oh, look at that mushroom there. <laughs> look at the tops on them. Oh! Are they fly Garricks? Yeah, they are. What? You know things! Whoa! Been watching Alex's channel, aren't I? <laughs> yes. give Alex a follow. <laughs> this is it. This is our last chance location. The light is fading. The weather is miserable. If we could just get that one all important bite, then I would be over the moon. No! Oh, oh. you're joking. What is that? Oh! It gave me a bite and everything. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm calling it a day. And that's what we did. We packed up the rods and went back to Tom's place, only to discover the corrupt footage from earlier in the day. So we opted to cheer ourselves up in the traditional Brummy way, a good curry. And it did the trick. Even waking up to a parking ticket wasn't going to ruin my mood. <gasps> oh, I oh. felt that. Fine. On day two, I was still really desperate for a pike of my own, so we headed back to the first stretch from the previous day. There was a few spots where I'd missed bites, so I was keen to try them again. Oh, we are lucky. He's doing some ninja stuff now. This is risky. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Well done, Sean. That's right. Catching all the pike, mate. Not bad. Hey, uh, that's all too bad, mate. Of course, Sean was back in action but my only chances seem to end as near misses. Jesus. Oh my he's still there, he's still there. That was so close, boys. Have you ever caught any big ones off of this area? Mate, we've caught some ridiculous catches. A vacuum cleaner, a bike. I caught a TV a DVD player combo. And that's not, it's really, that's really not what I meant. And you know that's not what I meant. Oh, right. right. Have you caught any yeah. nice pie? Rush, that 
to be honest with you, I'm a bit worried about Carl. You know, he's used to catching a lot of fish and he seems like he's a bit down. Sean's there now, trying to give him some tips and he's grinding on. He needs to catch. You can't just have me and Sean catching. I haven't even caught for Sean, fish for Sean. Come on, come on, Carl. Why can't I get a fish? The guy's gonna take me to a different spot. This has been a challenge to say the least. Although Sean, he smashed it. I'm still trying to catch my first canal pike. And with a new location comes newfound enthusiasm and energy. Let's work this bridge and catch this pike. Oh, fish! Fish! Yes! Come on, Carl! I can't believe it. I've put something. Yes! Come on! Yes! I just was in disbelief. Oh, that's so... <laughs> what? <laughs> Urban Pike completed. We stuck at it and stuck at it a little bit more and kept going and kept going and we got ourselves a Birmingham Pike. Big thanks to Tom and Sean for helping me out with this one. Well, I don't need to catch another one, but I will have a couple more. <laughs>